let me open up this box and here we have the Dilematic. For some reason the box itself calls this machine the Addict. But it's made by Sterling Plastics, SP. And it was made from about 1955 onwards. It comes with a, yeah, a plastic pick. Unfortunately the tip uh, was a bit longer and thinner but it was so thin that it uh, broke off. That happens to nearly all of these. So yeah, once that happens they're a bit useless. So I'm going to use uh, a different pick. So it's, a, uh, it's called the Automatic Adding Machine or Dilematic. Uh, on the back uh, you can just about make out some text here which says uh, Sterling number 565, that's the model number made in the USA and then it lists the uh, patent numbers of the uh, US, Canadian and British patents. And uh, yeah it's a fairly standard uh, dial machine. You have a register of uh, four digits. Uh, these are shown in little windows above the dials. And if you dial in a number, say five, yeah, that gets added to the register. Of course it has an automatic carry. So I've now, uh, I now have 62 and if I add um, 59, 5, you get a carry and a 9, again you get a carry to make 121. The instructions are not only on the box but also on the machine itself. It says here to add, use the large numbers, dial to the right, that's what I've been doing. But to subtract, use small numbers and dial to the left. So to subtract 5, you look at the small dial, at the small scale in the middle of the dial and then put in the 5 and go counterclockwise to the left. And that subtracts the number. To clear the register you have to essentially subtract what's already there. If you look at the uh, red uh, dials you can see one hole that has some white around it. You can put your pick in there and move it to the left to subtract that. And that's how you clear it. The mechanism is rather simple. As I said it was patented in around 1954 uh, well, actually by Otto Lehrer. He was working for the uh, Sterling Plastics Company. And uh, it's easier to show the mechanism if I take another machine, namely this one. This is a transparent version. It was made in 1968. Um, marketed by the Selective Educational Equipment Inc. or C. Uh, but it was made by Sterling Plastics. It uses the same mould and if you look on the back you get have the same writing here, the same uh, patent numbers and everything. The instructions uh, printed on here are exactly the same. Um, but here you can see the mechanism quite well. These wheels in the in the middle, those are for the um, carry mechanism. Uh, let's see. When you uh, when you turn a disc, eventually the, the, a little uh, little uh, pin. Uh, engages with the uh, wheel here and that uh, causes that wheel to turn one step 
making it uh, carry over to the next uh, next wheel. So that, that's what these three wheels in the middle do. The, uh, these uh, levers here, those ensure that uh, the carry uh, doesn't uh, doesn't do too much. If you were to move a wheel very quickly past the carry point, you'd give the, the next wheel up such a kick that it might actually skip two uh, ahead instead of just one. So th what this lever does is that uh, if if you uh, uh, go past the carry, the uh, it puts uh, it pushes it up here so that it then uh, breaks the it blocks this um, carry wheel from moving any further. So so that's why. Uh, these dials have these um, uh, extended parts both before and just after the zero. One, one side is for, uh, for addition, the other side is for subtraction. So that was the uh, Dilematic Sterling Plastics uh, adding machine. Thank you for watching.